Well, hey folks, in the last video I made, you saw where I was cutting my firewood for the winter. I cut a lot of wood in a short amount of time, and let me tell you, there was a pile of it. Now, ever since I posted that video, I've had a lot of people asking if I would do a video on the contraption I made for a cutting firewood. The contraption is the sawbuck here. Some people call it a sawbuck, some people call it a crossbuck, call it whatever you want. It's a great thing for cutting firewood. Now this isn't a new idea. Uh, I've been cutting firewood on a crossbuck my entire life. And people have been doing this since people have been cutting firewood. But when you were younger, if you ever watched Little House on the Prairie, you would have saw Charles Ingalls with his sawbuck. He's got his leg up there and he's sawing his wood like that. Huh? Well, I'm not Charles Ingalls, okay? I got my sawbuck, but I'm going to use my Husqvarna and I'm going to stack all the wood up here and I'm going to buzz right through it all at one time. It would be easier for me to show you this if I built another one, but I don't feel like building another one. <laughs> so I don't plan on building another one, so I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build one. I'll just show you what I did, and I'm pretty certain that you can grasp the idea and go ahead and build one yourself. It ain't rocket science, you know. All you need is some scrap lumber and a couple of beers. <laughs> Let's just pretend these are between three foot and four foot long because that's what I used to start off with. I didn't follow any specific dimensions to build it. I was just grabbing scraps out of my wood pile. Okay, I'm six foot tall. I wanted to have the firewood up about 20 inches or so off the ground. These here is just about that, 20 inches. And when I load this up and cut through the whole stack, that's a comfortable height for me. You really want some dimensions here. I'll give you the dimensions of mine, okay? In between here, mine is just over 19 inches long. These legs here are 45 inches long. It stands off the ground right about 34 inches. Okay? You ought to be able to work with that. Okay, to get things started, take your two two by fours roughly 45 inches long and nail them together, see? <laughs> All right, so I got a pair of these nailed together. There's one, there's another. The only thing that I made sure was when I nailed them together, I put them together so they are nailed together square, okay? And when these go together square, all of the pieces that are supports get cut at a 45 degree angle. And that's the simplest way to build things, a square cut or a 45. You don't have to mess around with any fancy degrees other than that. Cut a piece of wood, that dimension, roughly 19 inches, and I nailed it together. Put another one down there, and two more here, okay? I didn't put any nails in here at all. These two are not nailed together. So I don't want to have a little mishap with my chainsaw and hit a nail, okay? All right, so now we got that leg, this leg, that, that. Everything's nailed together and standing up straight. You can see everything is doubled up. I got a lot of scraps in my wood pile. I'm going to use them. I want this to be sturdy. So then, once this is nailed together, standing up, I took some scraps. I bought one up here. It's the same length as this. I did the same thing here. On the other, uh, on the other side, I did the exact same thing. Okay. I had cut the bottom of this at a 45 degree angle, so these were flush with the ground. I did that because my intentions are to add some more wood to this 
and build it like a pallet so that I can drive up with my tractor with the forks on it and pick it right up off the ground and move it wherever I want to. I haven't gotten that far. I've been using it just like this. If you don't intend on doing that... <laughs> Something smells like a PBR! <laughs> That was just an idea I had. If you don't intend on doing that, you don't have to cut the bottoms. Just leave them square. They'll dig into the dirt just fine. It'll work out great for you. Now all of the sawbucks I've used in my whole life were just like this. But this one, I just took some scraps and I added this little block in here. This was a good addition to my sawbuck and I'll show you why. By having these blocks in here, when I set my firewood on here, I have some space here. Without the blocks, the firewood sits right here. And in a short amount of time, you'll end up cutting through these. Okay? By giving myself a little bit of space, for the most part, I cut all of these logs. I got down to the bottom. Then I would just come in with my chainsaw and cut upwards for the last one. I think it was a good improvement to the design and it'll make these here last a bit longer. For the most part, when I stack all those logs on here and I'm cutting them, they stay where I need them to be. But if you've got a dull saw and you're pressing down or if you're cutting a lot of small wood that's kind of squirrely. Did you hear what he said? I did and I find that offensive. Just because a piece of wood might be a little different than the rest doesn't make it squirrely. I'm offended by this and I want my aunt and uncle removed from all the videos. I'm gonna go drop a pine cone on the little bastard. You're cutting a lot of small wood that's kind of squirrely. Just take a ratchet strap, go right around your stack of wood. Of course, keep it out of the path of your saw. When I lay my firewood on here, I cut my 16 inch piece and I'm a few inches away from here so I don't hit this with my chainsaw and hit any nails. I cut in the middle and I cut here a few inches away from this. I could cut the, the firewood 64 inches long, lay it on here, zip, 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 and I've got all my pieces just like I want and I'm not crowding myself here. You can buzz through a lot of wood in a short amount of time when you have a sawbuck. Yeah, so this is just a bunch of scraps of wood nailed together. Nothing fancy. I started with two two-by-fours nailed together just like that. I made a pair of them. Then I put blocks between them to tie them together doubled up just like that top and bottom and then now you see this piece here it's cut 45 it's cut 45 and it just got nailed between them so like that right there with a cut on each end okay very simple and this was just a little piece of wood cut at a 45 and I doubled everything up as you can see it's super strong and I don't have to baby it when I'm laying the firewood down here. I can just lay that right on there and it works slick. I know that was very simple and crude instruction, but really it's a sawbuck. Just nail stuff together. <laughs> That's all it is. So when you get yours built, let me know how it worked out for you. And the boss out walking in the woods Living life happy and free Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the Boss